What's going on, everybody? You're tuned into another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Lizzie the Gifted. What we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about how to get over writer's block or creative block, uh, whatever you know, whatever you like to call it. And uh, you know what? This is actually I'm going to give you guys really the way that it has always worked for me. I'm not saying that it's the perfect way, but this is what always worked for me. And to be honest with you, the reason why I never I don't really get writer's block. I don't get writer's block. I don't get creative block, producer block, beat block. You know, when you're making beats and you just can't. I don't get it. I don't have it happen to me, but but I'm going to be honest with you. This is why. So most of the time, what people will tell you is take a step away. Totally agree with that. Take a step away. Don't work on it. Like you forcing yourself to do something, that's not what's going to make it happen. But you want to know the real trick, the real reason that I never get writer's block, the real reason I never get creative block? Here's what it is. There's going to be some backtracking a little bit, but I will explain it to you and this will make sense. So basically the trick is that you need to prep yourself before you even get into that position. I'm going to, I'm going to, the whole episode is deep diving into what that means. People wait until they're in their creative block or they're in their writer's block or they're waiting until their brain is blocked. Then they start trying to figure out how to get out of it. You're too late at that point. At that point, once you get to that point, turn everything off, get the heck out of there, get out of there, change your physical environment, go walk, go read, go meditate. Simple. You know what I mean? Don't go watch TV. Don't go flipping on social. Get the heck out of here, wherever you are. That that's what you need to do. Um, but that's that's if you get into that point. But how do we not even get into the position? How how would it sound to you if you never had writer's block? How about that? How do you get to the position where you could create every day? Number one, that prepping. How do you prep yourself? How do I? I'm and I'm not gonna try that hard to translate to I'm telling you what to do and I'm just gonna tell you what I do okay and then hopefully you learn from it but here's the thing I worked really 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 hard to build good lifestyle habits and I'm not out here to say I'm mr. perfect because I'm not I have to I have to I have to work at it but I try really hard to you know, one thing I'm really bad at is getting a really good night's sleep. I've last night had a really great night's sleep, went to bed by like 10, 10, 15, woke up at 5.30, no snooze, and I was like, oh, that is rare, and I'm trying to make it a habit. But things like getting a good night's sleep super helps. I'm bad at that. That's my biggest weakness is not, I don't get good night's sleeps because I'm not disciplined, but I'm working on it. But getting a good night's sleep, exercising, like there is no excuse for why you can't exercise every single day. And I personally think you should exercise twice a day. But if you just have time for one, just do one, one workout. And by the way, you going on a 45 minute walk counts as a workout. So maybe you do one workout where it's like really intense and you're running or you're lifting weights or uh, 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 and you're like pumping out the sweat. And then later in the day, go on a walk for 45 minutes. That counts. Drinking a gallon of water. This is a half gallon. But like staying hydrated, like when you have a lot of water in you, 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 you stay very energized and you don't have to, you don't feel like dehydrated, especially if you're a vocalist, if you're singing your voice, this, this is your most important asset. So you need to be hydrated. So stuff like that, like things like that, it, the, the other thing that's going to, and, and as you can see, like I got some books, right? These aren't even all my books. These are just the books that I've read. But in my room are all the books I haven't read. I keep those in my room. But I, I like to read. I read books. And reading books are cool because, like, you get smart. You get knowledgeable. And some of the books you'll get really motivated. Reading books really helps. And, and again, this is before. This is constant. That's the idea is the preparation before you get in the studio, before you get writer's block or get creative block. You're doing all of these things. You're exer- I'm exercising. I'm reading. I'm drinking freaking water. You know, my diet is good now, but it was, you know, I have times where I fall off the diet, but just, just eating healthy in general, just trying to be conscious of what you eat. 
I know this episode is coming off very foo foo and very woo woo. Oh, you're just preaching, you know, positivity. It's like, no, but this is actually practical stuff that will help you not be in writer's block. Okay. This is the first thing. The first thing is don't, is, is do things that have literally nothing to do with music that are just going to make you a better person inside all those things. Okay. Number two. Practice gratitude. And I again, it sounds corny. It sounds cheesy. It sounds, oh, we've heard this before. Practice gratitude every single day. Like when I wake up, I wake up, pull out my notebook. I write five things I'm grateful for. Write those things down. Write 10 things you're grateful for. It could be anything. I'm grateful for this pen. Like, ooh, scented pen. I love this pen. Boom. Grateful for my pen. Grateful for this cup of coffee. I love that cup of coffee. I freaking... About a year ago, I bought myself some AirPods. I'm super grateful. I love AirPods. I'm grateful for my AirPods. Got a space heater. I'm grateful for my space heater. Grateful for my books. Bam, 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 bam. Just practice being grateful and genuinely believe that you're grateful for those things. You're put, all of these things I'm talking about is putting your mind in a positive state. Okay? I know. This isn't how to grow 10,000 followers. I know. It's not how am I going to get more fans? How am I going to make money as a musician? But this is like if you can't get over writer's block... Don't worry about how many fans you're going to get. You ain't getting any fans if you're going through writer's block all the time. And I know some people who go through writer's block for a really long time. I know one time I went through writer's block for like two weeks. Like two weeks straight, I couldn't create. Two weeks. You might be in, in the middle of it and you're like, dude, I can't create right now. I don't know what's going on with my brain. This is it. Flip that switch and do these things. You're going to create an environment in your mind where you're doing things that you don't really want to do, but they're good for you. Like exercise. Like I don't really want to exercise, but I force myself to exercise. You know why? Because I know I'm going to feel proud of myself afterward. That pride in my psyche is going to hype me up. Reading. I don't, I like reading when I'm done reading. I don't like pick up the book and go, I can't wait to read. It's like, no, I'd rather go watch TV, but I read because when I read, when I'm done reading, I'm like, oh my God, that was amazing. You know what I mean? That's it. It's simple. So doing so that's two. So number one is is just physical health, right? Exercise, water, diet. The second is gratitude. Practice gratitude all the time. And the third, and this is gonna sound crazy, but the third, work on multiple projects. Now I know sometimes people are like, I don't want to move on to this next thing until I'm done with this thing. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. Treat your creativity like playtime. I treat my creativity like I'm playing. I don't I don't treat my creativity like I got to get some music done. I I don't have so personally for me I don't have video games. I used to. I used to have an Xbox 360 in high school, but I don't have a Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch. D I don't even play games on my phone anymore. I don't play any of those. This is my PlayStation right here. This is my game system, my speakers and my keyboard. I love music. I make music all the time. I love it. It's fun. I treat it like that. I, ha I go and play. When I sit in this chair and I turn around, I'm playing. It's playtime. I don't pressure myself. When you're playing games, like when you're playing a video game, are you pressuring yourself to be like, I don't want to play this game until I finish this game? No, you're just like, I just want to play this game right now. Or I want to play this game right now. Right? Don't pressure yourself. Go and have some fun and work on multiple projects. Like for me, here's how this goes. For me, when I sit down to make a beat, sometimes that first beat is not the one. Like I'll make a beat and I'll be like, eh, it's not that good. Eh. You know what I do? I'll be like, you know what? Toss it. Command Q. Quit. Quit. Make a new one. The second beat is fire. The third beat, fire. So I'll end up making two dope beats. If I let myself get discouraged after that first beat, I wouldn't have made those the second and third dope beat. So just work on multiple things. Like for me, I don't even need to start any new songs. I could go look at all my old, old meaning like songs that I've started that I haven't released where I like write a verse or I'll write one chorus or I'll have just made the beat and I just love the beat. I'll be like, you know what? This is fire. I'm going to work on this. You know what I mean? Just have that, have your, 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 your hard drive of all your projects is like a bank account and keep, just keep putting projects in there. Why not? And if you're, a, if you're a producer, if you're a beat maker, 
just make hella beats. Just always just be making beats, loops, samples, drum, just whatever. Just boop, 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 boop. I'm making stuff, making stuff, making. Trust me, because eventually you're gonna finish. So for every ten times that you sit down and start, what if for every ten times you sit down and start, you make five beats, five finished beats? It's like, all right, I guess I gotta sit down ten times. You gotta think about that too. It's getting reps. If you're an artist. You can't sit down and think every single time I sit down, I'm gonna make a hit record. That's not how it's gonna go. You're probably gonna make a hit. Like for me, I'll sit down, I'll make 10. Let, let's say I sit down, let's say within 10 songs, I'll keep four of them. But out of every four, like I'll put four of them out, but like two of them are like bangers. So out of 10, I have two bangers. Two like, these are dope, these are super dope songs. Do you get what I mean though? I don't have writer's block because I'm always working on new stuff. The other thing too, I gotta be honest with you, I'm, this is documenting my journey. I'm not just a musician. I don't just work on music. I'm literally on this YouTube channel. I have a podcast, I have a YouTube channel. I have a business, I coach artists and I coach producers. Plus, I have beat bundles that I sell online. I like have a lot of stuff going on. And people sometimes look at what I have going on and they think, how do you do it? I go, you know what? It's not really that hard because I have to do that. Because every time I go and do a new thing, it keeps me fresh. Like, I'll be honest with you. I haven't worked on music in like five, six days. Like, I don't think I've done any music for like five, six days. I don't need to though because I have all this other stuff going on. When I do go work on music, oh, it's going to be fire, whatever I do, whether I mix, master, Probably not gonna master, I'm not in a mastering phase right now, but mixing is what I need to do. Mixing is the next thing I need to do. I have a lot of songs fully recorded, beats made, beats done. I just need to mix. Mixing's hard. So I'm kind of procrastinating a little, to be honest with you, because mixing's a, mixing's, a, mixing's a tough process. But you see what I'm saying? You have this variety. So let's go over the three steps. The three tips to avoid creative block. Number one, focus on your physical health. Doing that with, with exercising, dieting, and, and, and a gallon of water a day. Number two, your mental health. You've gotta practice gratitude and you gotta read every day. And then number three, work on multiple projects, guys, I promise. Now listen, let's say you're in a state right now where you're like, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to create right now. I just wish I had the marketing stuff figured out. I get it. You know what I mean? I know I'm in a position where I believe in myself. Like I believe in myself, I believe in my talent, I know I've got skills, I know I work hard, but I've been in that position where sometimes I felt like things just weren't going my way. I felt like things just were like, dude, why am I not getting fans? It just doesn't feel like anything I'm doing is right. I get it, but I've passed that stage in my life now. Now I'm at a point where I understand how to gain fans and I know how to build an audience and I get it. And so I just wanna help with that, right? And if you're in that position where you're like, damn dude, I just don't get it, I, I need help with the marketing, you know what you should do? Book a call with me and my team. Book a call with me and my team, 15 minute call. We can figure out if we're if my team and you are a good fit to to you know have me mentor you, right? And and if we're not a good fit, we're not a good fit. I'm not tripping, but I wanna just try to help as best I can. Um, I'm not trying to force anybody to be mentored by me. I'm just trying to put other people in a position to win. And I want people to win more than I'm winning. I'm trying to put people on that yo, let's get you better results than I've even got myself. I think that would be sick, right? I'm just trying to get people results. So if you need that help, book that call with me and my team. Uh, and if you enjoyed this episode, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. That way you don't miss an episode. We do a new audio episode every day, but we do a new video four times a week. And if you're listening to the podcast right now, leave a rating, leave a review, subscribe to the pod, share with a friend also. I'm doing a brand new audio episode every day. This is episode 193. So I've gone 193 days in a row. It would mean a lot to me if like all these days that I'm putting in work, giving you tips and perspective, if you could just be like, damn, you know what? I don't pay this guy, Lee, for any of this. I don't I don't even have commercials right now. I don't have commercials. I'm not wasting your time. Like if you just shared it with a friend, like if you were just like, yo, I know this dude named Lee has this music mastery podcast. You should check it out. That's my payment right there. Got it? That's all I need, all right? Hey, thank you so much for tuning in and for listening, and I appreciate you, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Peace!